Early in the human evolution, people mainly used naturally available and temporary shelters. During the German era, people started to build pit houses and develop small settlements. One such settlement in the Hokuto city Yatsukatake area is a location now called Uminuki. When walking up from the small stream that flows near the old settlement at Umenuki in the Yamanashi prefecture, you get an idea why the German people may have chosen this location for their settlement. It was conveniently located and had an abundance of food resources. The location looks out over the valley of the Fossa Magna, surrounded by Mount Fuji in the east and the southern Alps, Chichibu Mountains and the Yatsukatake mountain range. Settlements were built around a central open space. If you look at this photo of the Uminuki settlement site, you can clearly see the many houses that must have occupied the area over many centuries. In the Yatsukatake area, round shaped pit houses are normally excavated. The first people, or pioneers, who developed the settlement at Uminoki built three houses. They are colored yellow in this figure. Two houses were built next to each other, but the third was built almost 100 meters apart. This probably belonged to a subgroup or moiety. A moiety is a separate half or unit within an overall unit. They mostly belonged to a different group or tribe that was connected through an exchange of goods services and exchange of women and men for mating. Therefore, a moiety was a unit for exogamy or exchange of DNA. Later houses were built often close to the previous ones. The communal center space moved 20 to 30 meters north over time. Duality was common in German settlements. This is also illustrated in this diagram of the Haramachi settlement in Nagasaka Hokuto city. At Uminoki, Hokuto city tries to reconstruct some of the old pit houses. To build a pit house, a large circular hall was dug out in the ground and a roof construction was built on top of it. Settlements during the incipient German period consisted of only three to five houses. Later, when climate conditions improved and local food resources increased, the number of houses in a settlement increased as well. Excavated pit houses normally show a round or rectangular plan of five to eight meters in diameter and a pit of 50 cm to 1 m deep, with four or seven pillar holes and a single fireplace. No one knows for sure how the houses were constructed. To reconstruct pit houses, one must refer to diverse archaeological excavation archives and ethnological knowledge of building constructions. In the Lilwat Nation at Mount Curry First Nation Reservation in British Columbia, Canada, efforts are made to restore traditional earth lodge pit houses. The base structure is very similar to the way the pit houses at Uminoki are constructed. 
The little white houses used the rooftop opening as an entrance to make the house accessible in winter. There is, however, no indication that the Joma people in the Yatsukatake area used the rooftop as an entrance. It is because it does not often snow that heavily in the Yatsukatake area. The trees used for the construction were cut down with stone axes. This was very labor intensive. At Umenoki, all reconstruction activities are done as authentic as possible. This means that the volunteers also cut the trees that are used for the reconstructions with stone axes. All connections are bound together with vine and twined rope. Present research of the structure of German pit houses suggests that pit houses were attached with tree bark and covered with a thick layer of soil to keep the inside warm in winter. The roof had a rooftop window to let smoke out from the fireplace. Joma people preferred using chestnut tree for house pillars and rafters, as the chestnut tree was strong and easy to cut with stone axes. The opposing venting openings allowed air to move through the house. Although the smoke from the fire pits kept insects out, it could become quite suffocating at times. Therefore, a good airflow was essential. Volunteers help with the maintenance of the buildings. The buildings are open for the public and there are also hands-on activities for visitors to experience German pot making.